What's up guys? I figured it was time for me to uh, have this little chat with you guys. Here I am in uh, Nanoose Bay in Vancouver Island. Out here on a little excursion with the family. And you guys have already read the title, so I'm going to just kind of cut to the chase and get right to it. So for many, many years, about a decade, I have been battling a foreign type of health issue in my body that I couldn't identify. The doctors couldn't identify it. They all thought I did show some signs of Crohn's. Pathology said that was there, but it was very minimal. And I couldn't figure out why I couldn't eat like a normal human being. And I know there's so many people that are out there that have written to me, uh, that have followed along in my health journey, that have you know, said they suffer from very similar issues that I had. Uh, and have uh, and are recovering from. Thankfully, I've got some excellent news today. Um, over two and a half years, three years, there goes my dog. I have been uh, battling uh, being able to eat properly. Anything I would eat, you know, generally my body would reject. And I had to do a fairly embarrassing video at the time uh, when I was having to learn to live with it where uh, for the last two years up until about a, one month ago uh, anything I would put in my body would just immediately be spit out the other end and just to put it quite 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 frank you know uh, also I noticed that I was having constant what felt like gout issues or fibromyalgia going through my body at all times uh, I was in severe pain for a long time. My back injury that I've been battling with, you know, since I was very young, also was impacted in a negative way. And really, I had no way to tell what was going on because the doctors would say it's one thing, then another doctor would say it's another, blah, blah, blah. And basically, long story short, I was kind of left on my own to figure out what was going on. Everyone else just kind of threw their hands up in the air and said, we don't know. And being someone like me that's a problem solver, I hate not knowing what's going on in my own body. So I was watching and making a journal of what I could eat, what I couldn't eat, all that other stuff. Uh, and eventually I started noticing that it was sugar that was really starting to uh, be, or like, uh, be a problem for me. Yeah, you'll notice I went quite gray this uh, last few years because I was battling with the health, is health issues and didn't want to use any hair dye or any BS. I just wanted to keep my body clean. Well, in all of my journey, and the doctor had given up and everything had been going on, I've been through every scope, every friggin' thing you could think of, I noticed that there was certain pieces of sugar or certain cravings that I'd be getting at night. I couldn't go to bed without having a cookie, have some sort of chocolate at night, craving pop during the day. These were things that I noticed that over time that when I had done an elimination diet and eliminated all food out of my diet except for the, the critical stuff I could eat it was my body was craving sugar and all the haters out there will be like oh I always told you you were a pussy but long story short folks I had a yeast infection a long-term yeast infection in my gut where did it come from years ago I had an infection called C. difficile C. diff, which I got from antibiotics poisoning when I had five wisdom teeth and I chose to have them all removed at the same time and I got an infection in my face. So they gave me two rounds of antibiotics. Can't remember what the first one was. The second one that caused all the damage in my gut that killed all the good uh, flora in my gut was called uh, colindomycin. And they don't use that as much anymore because they know it causes this huge issue. And C. diff was something I had uh, when I was just starting YouTube back in the day uh, in 2008, 2009. And uh, basically when all the good flora in your gut breaks down, all the good bacteria and all that, and, and it's all gone, you know, you stop absorbing your food. And candida is a type of yeast. And they say this yeast is a beast because it is. Um, you get it in your gut and yeast loves sugar. It loves to eat. And yeast is alive. And so that means it's eating and it's shitting and it's creating toxins. And the toxins were going throughout my body, making it seem like I had fibromyalgia, giving me issues in my back in an old injury that shouldn't be an, uh, an issue. So I actually went to the doctor and I said, listen, 
I have like a mania type of status. I've got uh, all of these different issues that we've looked, you know, gas, bloating, pain in my intestines, all of these different things, and I'm craving sugar. Please give me uh, fluconazole, which is what I found online, uh, which sounds dumb because no one should be their own doctor, right? But when your doctors have given up and, and they don't know what's wrong with you and you've been to specialist after specialist and you're a problem solver, I figured out that's what it was. And after three rounds of 150 milligrams a day, uh, which is a week is uh, a round, so five days, through three different rounds, it killed off the bad candida in my body. Uh, and I have been able to eat like a fucking normal human being. I've had steak, I've had hamburger, I've had like, uh, I have to cut down on my sugar intake, right? I can't have pop and, and all that. I don't even want it, but all the stuff I couldn't have before, my kid would look at me and say, you know, dad, can't you share in my French fries? I'd be like, no, I can't because it gives me a sore gut or it causes me bad sleep issues or whatever. Now I'm like, yes, son, I would love one of your French fries. Why don't you try some of my hamburger? <laughs> Now I'm still staying away from things like butter, uh, heavy cream. I'm not like experimenting with that yet. I want to heal my gut. If my gut has been bad for 10 years, it's definitely going to take more than a few weeks for it to come around. But you guys might have saw in my recent uh, low CMT, uh, the, the grave digger video where I jumped off of the, uh, the top cliff. I have days where some days I feel like I'm 21 and other days where I feel like I'm 80. I read that in the comment section from someone else the other day, but that is absolutely so on point. With this infection that I had long term and the doctors had no idea, they say it is so rare to get this, but I have a feeling they're wrong. So if you guys are suffering uh, with something like similar of what I was suffering with, IBS, IBSD, uh, which is irritable bowel syndrome with a D prevalence. <laughs> you can put that together after all the shit I've said today. Hint right there. Uh, I hope that... Uh I hope this, this helps you guys. I left uh, a picture of this uh, medicine in the video because I wanted you guys to know that it is there. Um, I'm not getting a kickback. I don't know anything about any of that stuff other than it fucking helped me uh, and it's given me my life back. And it was only a temporary thing. I had to take it for a while. I'm still on my Humira injections bi-weekly for the Crohn's, which is an immunosuppressant. I know a lot of people, if you are even listening right now, please click the like button or leave me a comment to let me know that you even care that you're watching this far into the video um, because a lot of people watch my stuff and they don't really say a lot and, and I'm, I'm doing this for you guys as well as as you guys are always doing this for me so thank you for sticking by me all of my support all the people that have been sending me good wishes and praying for me I think it's so amazing that I was doing and still live by my life by this less selfish more selfless I was giving from my heart to people and, and just opening up and letting people know and, and trying to be like that in my life. And weeks later, I'm touched by a healing thought that comes to me where I figured out that I was getting too much sugar and it was causing the gas and bloating and all that pain. And then I was able to find a medicine that fixed me. It didn't fix me in the first two rounds. It took that third one and I'm always going to have to watch my yeast. I'm still going to stay away from beer and alcohol. I don't drink at all. And I'm still going to maintain my body and be careful with it. Be careful with what I'm eating because you are what you eat. And I'm happy to be here. Hey, family. Hi. Yeah. Back with the family. The new spay. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you in the next episode. Bye for now.